Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, today I'm going to be showing you the tutorial and explanation to my last card trick called the Poker Pair. Now, if you haven't seen the trick, the link will be on the dis in the description and on the screen here. You can click there. Uh, it will help you. That way you understand what I'm doing because you will need to, you know, understand this because there is a lot here. Okay, it's going to be a lot of information. You might want to check that out. It might help you. Uh, just a little tip. Uh, so here are the cards you're going to be needing for the trick. You're going to start out by get, going through your deck and getting the 10 Jack, Queen, King, and Ace of Spades, so Royal Flush. And um, now you have three more Jacks in your deck, and you want to take those out. So that's the Jack of Diamonds, Clubs, and Hearts. Now, before I do anything else, I just want to see you also want to go into another deck and just take out an extra Jack of Hearts, okay? Now that is a secret to it all, an extra Jack of Hearts. And then finally, what you're also going to get is the Queen of Diamonds and the Queen of Hearts, okay? Now, let's get into the setup. You are going to have to have a setup for this trick. So, let's start out. You're going to place down the Ace of Spades, okay? Next, you're going to get your Jack of Spades, if I can find it. Jack of Spades. You're going to place that down, followed by the Jack of Hearts. It's very important that you follow this exact. Uh, followed by the Jack of Diamonds here. Followed by the Jack of Clubs. So let's go through that. You're going to have it in this order. The Ace of Spades, the Jack of Spades, Jack of Hearts, Jack of Diamonds, Jack of Clubs. That is one pile. You're going to place that to the side. Now let's get into the next one. You're going to place either the Queen of Diamonds or the Queen of Hearts, whichever one you want, uh, down, followed by the Ten of Spades, followed by the King of Spades, followed by the Extra Jack of Hearts, then the Queen of Hearts or the Queen of Diamonds, whichever one you didn't use, and then lastly, the Queen of Spades. So let's go through that one more time. You're going to have the Queen of Diamonds, Ten of Spades, King of Spades, Extra Jack of Hearts, the Queen of Hearts, and then the Queen of Spades. Um, now you're ready to go. Now this is pretty much what I have in the beginning of the trick. These are the six random cards that I have, or the th six high cards that I have, and they are in this exact order. And with the jacks, when I'm showing the jacks, I really have an extra card over here, which is the Ace of Spades. Now, you can start off this trick with these cards out of the deck. It might be a little bit easier uh, for a lot of you. Now, if you do want to just start with the cards in the deck, I will do that now. So, you spread them out. And now, let's go through. You put the uh, jacks in exactly how they are. You don't want to mix them up. You don't want to switch them. You want to be able to put them in so that when you take them out, they're in the exact order. So, you're going to put in them. And make sure you put in the Jack of Spades with the Ace of Spades so they uh, are with the same with each other, okay? I'll push those in. Now, with the uh, last cards, I just find it's very easy. You can do it a different way. But with these six cards over here, I find it's very easy if you put these on top of the deck. Okay, so this would be the top. Um, but when you're spreading through, they would be on the bottom, okay? So once you have those, you also just... This is just... Um, to make it look a little more, you know, better, you're going to take out your Queen of Clubs from the deck and just put that near the top. What I mean, when I say near the top, I mean about five cards down, okay? That close. Now, from here, you simply do what I do. You start taking out the jacks first. So, you just go in order. One, there's two, and three, and then on the last one, it's a little bit more tricky. But you have to take out the Jack of Spades and the Ace of Spades. Now, here's how I like to do it. What I do is go a little bit farther so that I've spread out more cards. Now, when I come in to square these pa this packet up, I'm really catching a break under that Ace of Spades, and now it's fairly it's pretty easy just to pop out those two cards, and then I can grab everything. So, when I'm taking all those cards out, they're in the same order as we started, and I have that Ace of Spades. Now, once again, you don't have to um, take them out from the deck. You can always start with those. Um, now, from this one, for this one, uh, remember, we put the Queen of Clubs near the top of the deck. It's very important that you take that card out first. So what you do is you pop out the Queen of Clubs, and then you go through. After you have the Queen of Clubs, you take out another four high cards, okay? doesn't matter what they are, just another four. So that's three and four, and now you're going to go all the way down to that Queen of Spades. Right when you see it, make sure the rest of the pack is square. Try to make it look like one card. Now, here's the move. You're going to strip out the, uh, all four or five. There should be five. I'm, I, I'm sorry. You have to get five cards and then the Queen of Spades. 
Um, you're going to strip out all five and keep a break under those five cards that you have and maintaining so that these cards, the setup cards, are separated. Now, when, after you pull them out, you're going to put it under the deck, okay? And the queen of clubs should be on top. And when you square the packet up, you're actually just going to ditch all these cards that you took off and just leave in your hand the setup packet. So you have that break. You're going to square up the packet and take off your break so that you have the setup six cards. And just place those face down on the table. You won't be needing the rest of the deck. Now, here's what you do. You pick up your packet. You're going to put the jacks on top. Maintain a break right above the jacks. You're going to show one, two three and on that fourth make sure you don't flash that ace okay and turn them over now there's one more move and then we're off you're gonna show the four jacks now the thing you need to do is get the fifth card to the bottom of the deck there's many ways you can do this but I find this way just to um, be less noticeable you show the four on the fifth card here's what you're gonna do you're gonna take your middle finger and just pull that card in all the way just like that. That way, when you square up the packet, it f goes right to the bottom. So I'll show that again. I'll put the card right in the fifth position, just like this. And when I go one, two, three, when I'm showing four, I'm just pulling. You'll watch it just disappear. It disappears. Now it's loose in the back here. When it's loose in the back, you can just square up the deck, and it goes right to the bottom. Now that's just my way of bringing it to the bottom. There's multiple ways you can do, but I find that one to be uh, very, it's not very noticeable. From here, you just start. You go, your their card, okay, their card is always first. Their card, your card, their card, your card. Now, pretending those are jacks, uh, they actually have one jack in their pile. Uh, that's our duplicate jack of hearts, but obviously they don't know that. And you just keep filling the packets out maintaining make sure this is nice and square this packet you don't want to show because you do have an extra card they think you have 10 cards but really you have an extra one so you keep going with this okay so this one here here now on the last card you want to be counting in your head that right now I have four cards which means I need one more and you need to be careful not to flash that extra card we're just gonna place this down and make it look like one card uh, you're not going to turn over the spectator's packet, okay? That's not important. So you put that to the side and you say, okay, let's take a look at what I have. You're going to show all your cards. Be careful not to flash the card behind because there is a, should be the queen of spades there. So you're going to one, two, three, four, five cards, and you happen to have the four jacks. Now, uh... What you're then going to do is take the Jack of Clubs and the Queen of Spades should be behind it, and you're going to put that right above the Jack of Hearts. So you're going to go one, two, three, four cards. Four, there's the four Jacks. You're going to take this Jack and place it just like that above the Jack of Hearts. That's just a sneaky move just to make sure that the trick works. So you're going to go like this. You're going to place the Jack of Clubs above and square up the cards. Okay, now do that fairly fast. I'll just show that one more time. Uh, in rail speed, you're going to go, okay, and look, I happen to have the four jacks, and you just square it up and make it look like nothing happened. Um, now you start again. You take the packet back up, you pick it back up, you deal their card, your card, their card, your card. Be careful not to flash the extra card. You take your extra card, place it on top of the packet, and you're going to begin filling out. Uh, the you know the rest of the cards, but before you do that, you want to get a break under the t the bottom card. So uh, it should be the ace of spades on the bottom. You're gonna get a break under that bottom card. I, it's pretty easy. You just you know you catch a break, and now you keep filling them out. So you're gonna go their card. That's the ring. Your card. You have three cards. Their card. Your card. Now on their fifth card, you sh you're gonna have. Still, you should still be maintaining that break above the bottom card, which is the Ace of Spades. You still have that break. You're going to pick up both of those cards and put them down as their fifth card and then give yourself the last one, okay? So you're, you're not giving yourself two cards this time. You're giving the spectator two cards, okay? And uh, this takes, this one, this part takes a little bit of practice uh, to put it down and not, you know, move it like that because you don't want them to see that you, they're, you're giving them six cards. So you put down your break, 
and you give yourself the last card. Uh, now, it does help. You don't want to be showing the cards like this because it will be more noticeable, especially if you flash. If you're keeping them in a pretty tight pack like this and you put it down and flash a little bit, it looks like they're all just, you're all there and, you know, nothing looks too suspicious. Um, now, before you show these cards, you're going to take the top card and bring it to the bottom. Now, I, this is pretty easy to do. All you do is take the card and pretend like you're, you're using it just to pick up the pack that you're putting on the bottom and turning the cards over. It's very important that you do that because if you don't, it would look like this. You'd show and you'd have four jacks and um, you'd have one over here and two jacks of hearts. Two jack of hearts. So you just want to make sure you take the card, flip over the packet, and then you can show you have, you know, you have two queens and three jacks, which is a full house. Be careful not to flash that other jack back there. Show the cards, okay? Square them up and put them to the side. You know, I find it great. Just take them, if you have your deck on the side, take them and just put them on top of the deck. Don't even worry about those anymore, okay? Now you can just go right to yours. You say, you know, you had one jack, which means I have one. You, you had three jacks, so I have one. And uh, when it goes with a ten jack, queen, king, and ace of spades, well, you think you won. And, uh, well, you did. So that's a tutorial for my trick poker pair. Uh, once again, I don't know if you haven't seen the performance already, but the link is still on the screen. And I uh, hope you guys liked it. If you haven't subscribed to Runny, uh, feel free. That's it. And as always, remember, I'll be back.